there are a bunch of different apps that help with discovery. Uh, there are dating apps, there are matrimonial apps, and, and tons of choice among these two to, to try and find yourself a life partner. But there are three things for you to consider when you are trying to figure out which one works best for you. The first thing is what are you looking for? Second thing, what is the time frame or pace that you have in mind? And the third thing is what is the experience that you enjoy? So first thing, what are you looking for? Are you looking to date? Are you looking to hook up? Are you looking to get married? These three will help you kind of figure out which platforms to go on to. If you're looking to get married, there are some pretty big apps like Wired Matrimony, Shadi.com, Jeevan Sadi uh, that you can pick from depending on what works for you. The second thing to consider is what is the time frame that you have in your mind, right? There are some semi-dating, semi-marriage type of dating apps that are there like um, your Hinge or Isle, etc. Um, whereas there are a bit more free flow in terms of um, uh, time frame. The people who are on these platforms are people who are kind of not sure that they want to make decisions really quickly. They want to take their time. They really want to connect with somebody and then make that decision. So there is no time frame, set time frame that most users on these platforms expect. But if you are somebody who's looking to get married, let's say within the next one to two year time frame, then I would say get onto matrimonial apps because most people on these apps are looking at similar time frames and you can focus all of your energy on getting to know the other person rather than trying to figure out whether this person uh, wants to be committed within a certain time frame. Now, the third thing is experience. Some of these products are better designed compared to the others. Some engage you better than the others and you will figure out what level of engagement works for you when you try some of these apps. There are some apps like Shali.com that are designed in a way for you to engage with them on a daily basis. Uh, there are some like IIDIM, Shadi, um, I know the no name sounds crazy, that aren't very well designed, that don't allow you to sort of engage with them on a daily basis. They don't make you want to come back. So you want to try and make sure w what pace works for you and choose an app based on that. Now, all of these apps, or let's say most of these apps, allow for you to create a free profile on their platform or at least explore some of the basic features on their apps, which will give you a sense of what works for you and what doesn't. So I would recommend trying these for, let's say, two weeks or, or a month, all at the same time, before you try and figure out which one works best for you so that you can invest your time, money, and energy into it to, to go and find what you want. 